Hey everybody, it's July 23rd. Um, I haven't really posted anything since last Wednesday and I apologize for that. Um, initially when I, when I conceived this channel, I was planning on posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, but it seems that was a bit of a stretch sometimes. So, um, I'm going to guarantee you one a week. Maybe we'll get two or three. It just depends. But I appreciate you watching, um, you know, when I do post stuff. Uh, past, uh, past week and a half has been kind of rough. Uh, I think last time we had a real talk, it was about spoon theory and dealing with uh, Vogons, which if you're not familiar with um, Hitchhiker's Guide, uh, Vogons are nasty, bureaucratic, authoritarian, uh, it's not great people, not great people. <laughs> um, and I've been dealing with a lot of administrators and bureaucrats and stuff lately. So, um, but that brings about like the good news. Um, I am now after being on hold with everybody ever for literally hours, I am re-enrolled in college and uh, will hopefully be finishing my degree in the next year, year and a half. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, truck broke down this, uh, this past weekend and uh, it's a really simple fix. It's a $10 bushing came off of my shifter link linkage cable um, underneath the truck like the transmission has a little lever on the side but if you slide it all the way forward it's in park and you know it's neutral reverse drive and then manual um and apparently it's a pretty common thing for that little plastic bushing on the cable to wear out and break and leave people stranded well mine's stuck in uh in reverse and uh once I figured out what it was, I went ahead and cut the truck off and put the parking brake on and crawled up underneath it and slid it to park so that I could do what I needed to do. Um, <clears throat> and next time I have to fix that, it'll be a 10, 15 minute fix. But figuring out the right way to do it, despite what the directions say, um, that's always the hard part. So that took a few hours of you know, pain and cramping and cussing and getting the right tools and all that. Um, but I got her done. It's good to go. Uh, it's been part of the reason why it's been hard for me to get an update out lately is because I haven't been feeling well mentally and emotionally. And, uh, I know that, you know, I kind of owe my subscribers, you know, something, but sometimes I, I just don't feel like I have a whole lot left to give some days. Um, and I don't want to just talk about problems because like everybody's got problems and uh, you know, it's, it's hard and I don't, don't want to seem like a downer or whatever. Um, and maybe that's just my own bullshit and like my reservations. Um, you know, I feel like in a lot of ways life is pain and it's not about like what you do or like what happens to you. It's, it's about how you handle it. Um. <coughs> Sorry, uh, air quality index is pretty crappy today and it's hot and muggy and I feel like shit. And so I'm phlegmy, so good deal. Um, my depression has been pretty rough, uh, pretty severe lately. I, uh, I feel like Kiari is always an alienating proposition, you know, um, 
it's hard for people who don't have it to understand and it's hard for people that do have it to fully engage with life like to the degree that they would like to or that they would had if they weren't symptomatic um I really love swimming, but like I hate being outside in the summer because I just don't handle the heat well, and um, it's nothing like feeling like you're gonna have a heat stroke, you know. And so, like getting to the swimming places and then being out in the sun and the bright light, feeling like shit feeling like you're going to pass out. It's just not cool. Um, And that's just like a little example. Um, I'm I'm feeling a lot of resistance right now to even talking about this stuff. Like, because like I said, everybody's got problems, you know? It's, It's just a part of life. And... And I don't like asking for help. I mean, I've done it enough in my life. And I've gotten better about accepting help when it's offered. But it's just, this shit's just grating. It's just exhausting sometimes. Like, (coughs) you know, I feel alone a lot because... You know, there's there's just not a whole lot of people in my life that are uh, actively engaged, I guess you could say. Like, I have really good friends who I can call and, and say, you know, I need to talk about whatever. And it doesn't matter what it is, they'll talk to me, you know. But, um... It seems like none of them are here, you know. They're all all over the country and, and even in some cases all over the world. Um, and sometimes you just need to hang out with somebody. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of people lately in the support groups uh, talking about when uh you know they got married or whatever like they were mostly asymptomatic and as time went on shit got rougher for them and you know it drove their drove their relationship apart and so now they've had surgery or or they've gotten to where they're functionally disabled and you know then their then their partner leaves them and takes the kids and You know, now they're, like, alone and heartbroken and trying to go through all this shit, like, without any any real help. And, uh, you know, I wonder sometimes if, if, like, any of it's worth it. Like, what, what good, what good does it do to, to keep fighting, to keep struggling, trying to, trying to make a life out of all this. I feel like like I'm trying to put Humpty Dumpty back together, you know? Um, except I'm a horse. <laughs> I don't have opposable thumbs. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm Maybe I'm just complaining. You know, like I said, I don't I don't have it as bad as some people. You know, I can I can get up and <clears throat> and do a lot of things uh if I've if I've got the energy or 
you know, I don't have a headache or whatever. Like, it could be so much worse. And I'm, I'm grateful right now that it's not. But I'm afraid long term it is going to be. This is a progressive thing. And, um, and I, I don't feel like there's a lot to look forward to. Um, maybe if I had the surgery, it wouldn't progress. But I don't feel like it's a medical necessity right now. And there's no way in hell I could come up with half a million dollars to cover it. Um, and maybe it's less than that. Maybe it'd only be like 350000 but, I mean, it might as well be on the moon. So, you know, I don't, I don't want anybody to, uh, to feel like I'm in danger of, like, hurting myself or anything like that. Um, I'm just... I'm just in my feelings right now. And, uh, I didn't want to share this stuff with you guys. Like, I, you know, I really, I really want this channel to be, like, inspiring in some way or whatever. But, I feel like it also needs to be educational. And, um,. And depression is definitely a, a thing with Kiari. And definitely a thing with me. Like, I don't know if I would have depression if I didn't have Kiari, but I feel like I probably would. I feel like life's too, like I see life too clearly to not in some ways be embittered by it all. Um, yeah, so in other news, my German Shepherd is an asshole and she broke my, my boxer Duke's favorite toy. Her name's Freya and Duke, uh, Duke's favorite toy in the world is a donkey and he loves all his toys and like, he's really good to him. He doesn't tear him up or anything. So just carries him around and loves all of them. And he's the sweetest dude. But um, Freya stole his donkey from him yesterday and tore its guts out. And so she's on my shit list for being an asshole. And maybe in the next video, you'll get to meet him. I thought about letting him out up here today, but um, they tend to be dogs and jump on me and stuff and I wanted to uh, do this with as few distractions as I could so yeah I don't really know where else to go from this right now um, sometimes shit just sucks like my buddy had always said uh Life's a shit sandwich, and uh, the only good thing about it is the more bread you got, the less shit you got to eat. So, anyway, um, thanks for liking and subscribing and all that jazz, and uh, share if you can. Um, those of you who have chipped in on Patreon, you mean the world to me. Um, See if I can't do a little something cool for you soon. But, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. It'll be uh, sometime between now and Friday. Later.